Wait, are you really getting married? What's happening? <laughs> I'm dead. I love it. How are you feeling? Today is the big <gasps> day. Oh, well, yes. Today is the big day. I am marrying my sugar daddy. Um, <sighs> I'm nervous, obviously. Like, I'm definitely stressed. I think that's like my first emotion is that I am really, really stressed out about everything that has to get done with the bridesmaids and the cake and the venue and my husband, um, literally everything. But I'm excited as well. I know a lot of people are excited for me. This is a big day. I know they're always like, is there a real sugar daddy or is there not a real sugar daddy? I had the best time at my wedding. My mom even got involved. My wedding was one for the books. When's my next wedding? What was the wedding like? When is the honeymoon? Was it worth it? The truth. Do you guys want to know the truth? <sighs> Where do we even begin? Are you guys ready to hear the truth? I don't even know where to start this, um, but we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> so a lot of you guys have probably been following the Sugar Daddy series on my TikTok for the past couple of months. There's a lot of you guys who've been enjoying the content and there's a lot of you guys who have questions. I am going to clear up everything and kind of explain how or kind of just tell the story about how this all started that has been playing out on my TikTok the past two months and this past weekend i got married so i thought i planned a wedding and yeah it went a little something like this thank you guys so much for 100k it is now time for me to release my wedding video started my morning at starbucks with my maid of honor i had to get those jitters out then I headed to my sister Emily's house to start getting ready for the big day. As many of you know, I am marrying my sugar daddy who I have been dating for the past two months. After trying on many wedding dresses, I ended up custom making my own wedding dress. I thought it would be more personal for me and my style. I am feeling all the feels right now and Bridezilla mode is in full effect. We headed to the ceremony at Lake Hollywood Park. Had to get some pre-bride shots before meeting my husband. I feel fucking fabulous to say the least. We had a time he was supposed to meet me here and he didn't show up. I mean, I never expected to be a runaway bride. After all this planning, this guy didn't show up. I am so mad at you, Robbie. So I started the Sugar Daddy series on my TikTok about two months ago. Um, many of you guys know my TikTok account as a reality TV place. I recap The Bachelor, The Kardashians, The Housewives, all of the reality TV tea. You know you come to Zachary Reality on TikTok to get that tea. But I was looking for something else on my TikTok to bring me to the next level. I was looking for new content to kind of boost my views. I was looking to shake things up. I was looking to take my TikTok career to the next level. I wanted to create new content. I wanted to create new scenes. I wanted to kind of create my own reality show on Zachary Reality. So we weren't just talking about the reality TV. We were let alone making the reality TV to kind of take my content to the next level which is where I kind of thought of the idea to bring in a sugar daddy. I have already been vlogging my life around LA on TikTok for a while now, five, six months, but I wanted to make the vlogs more interesting. And I remember when I had Audrey Peters on my podcast about a month ago, she said something that really stuck with me. She was like, TikTok is a false reality. And literally that's what she said. But like when she said TikTok was a false reality, I was like, why don't I create a false reality? And I want it to be bold. So that's kind of when the idea came to me to create a Sugar Daddy series on TikTok. And the first time I introduced the Sugar Daddy to my TikTok account, I was out to lunch with a couple of my friends. And I basically said that my Sugar Daddy gave me his credit card to go out to lunch with my friends and we spent X amount of dollars on pizza and coffee and it was amazing. A beautiful day on Sunset Plaza and my daddy gave me his credit card. He said to go to lunch with your friends and order whatever you want. We met up at the butcher, the baker and the cappuccino maker. I told my friends I'd take them to lunch this time but they owe me a free vacation. We got coffee and pizza and the total was $464 flat. I look forward to more free meals and- 
And that video got a lot of attention. It blew up. It hit over 100,000 views. And then the next day, I made another video where I was going to the bank to literally report um, a, my card that was stolen. My credit card and my debit card got stolen um, at the Abbey a few, a couple months ago. So I was going to the bank to kind of report on the lost card and see when I was getting a new card and like figure out my bank situation. So I vlogged going to the bank and instead of sharing what actually happened, how I actually lost my card, I basically said that my sugar daddy set up a trust fund for me. Sugar daddy set up a new trust fund for me on the new credit card that he gave me. So I had to get my ass out of bed and go to the bank for our 12 o'clock appointment. So rude to make me wake up that early. In the private client office, I learned my new allowance was 10,000 a month. Not as much as I thought, but it will be enough for the weekend. That video hit over 1.2 million views. I started to realize how much attention these sugar daddy videos were getting on TikTok and how much I enjoyed making them and creating content and interacting with my followers, interacting with my fans. Once I started, I couldn't stop. And it really transpired and correlated with my real life because I was having these real life experiences where I went to the DMV, where my car ended up getting towed, where I was going out to some dinners, where I did take myself on a much needed vacation, but I was just adding satire, exaggeration, and a false reality to the voiceover of these vlogs to create awesome, viral, hilarious content. And that is kind of how everything went down. If you know, my sugar daddy sent me on vacation and got me a private suite. I'm staying in Carlsbad, California for the weekend because I needed some R&R. &R. My life in Los Angeles is so stressful. After I settled into my room at the suite, I got dressed for the pool. The views were amazing and I really felt at peace with the nature. Then I had to take some bougie pictures by the pool because my sugar daddy demanded that I do so. He wanted to see me in my natural element. After the pool, I made sure to take a quick nap before getting ready to go out. My sugar daddy is picking me up and taking me somewhere special. He asked me what kind of food I wanted to eat for dinner and my answer was expensive. Feeling like a Carl's baddie in the village of Carlsbad. We ordered everything on the menu and I don't know the cost because I didn't pay the bill. I took a shot of tequila to apologize for my sins. My sugar daddy doesn't like when I use my phone at the table, but we did get dessert. He dropped me back off at the hotel and I got in the bathtub. My sugar daddy doesn't expect me to do anything past dinner. When I went to the DMV and I got a new car, I technically actually ended up getting pulled over um, a couple weeks ago because my registration was expired. It was a whole big deal. I ended up having to go to the DMV to get new registration because my registration expired and the police actually ended up calling, telling my car. So when I went to the DMV the next day and then I had to go to the police station to pay the police fee and then I even had to go to get my car towed and I literally spent like $900 that day fixing my car. It was so traumatizing. But I decided to vlog the day, make it fun, and then I added the sugar daddy twist to it. I basically said that my sugar daddy got me a new car, I had to get my registration, and it was like this whole big thing, and a lot of people really believed it. New sugar daddy decided that he wanted to buy me a brand new car. In order for me to get the car, I would have to go to the DMV and get the registration under my name. He said that his money is a gift, but not his time, so I had to wait three to four hours at the DMV before my name was finally called. This was a very long and stressful day, but I guess you can say it's all worth it. Then I had to sign some paperwork on the new car. After that, we got Starbucks, and then my sugar daddy ordered me a private Uber Black to the place where I can pick up my brand new car. I got to Culver City, signed a little bit more paperwork, and saw my brand new Volkswagen for the first time, and her name is Allison. Um, I ended up taking this sugar daddy series really, really far, so far that I even created a wedding, like an entire wedding, a dress, flowers, the whole nine yards, as you guys probably saw on TikTok and probably saw on Instagram. And I wanna show you guys some behind the scenes footage of this wedding as I kind of explain how the wedding transpired, what led us to this point and how we got to this day. It kind of happens like this. I kind of got the idea a few, 
a couple months into the sugar daddy videos, I noticed how much engagement it was getting. So I really wanted to continue this storyline. So I went to my friend Rosie's house in Fontana, which is about an hour and a half from LA. And I texted her, you know, before I came, I was like, hey, would you be down to try on wedding dresses? Um, I thought it would just be a fun idea if I just all of a sudden decided that now in the storyline, my sugar daddy wants to marry me. We've been dating for a couple months. I clearly need the money to help pay my bills. Like let me just marry the sugar daddy. So at least I could get the alimony or I could get attention. Clearly my sugar daddy was living a really good lifestyle if he could afford to send me on vacation, buy me a car, all of these things. So I started trying on wedding dresses with my friend Rosie and we tried on three dresses and that video blew up. It got over 500,000 views and people were so invested in this wedding that I needed to just like make this wedding happen. Sugar Daddy is on the verge of cutting me off and he said the only way to keep him around is to marry him. So he took me to check out engagement rings. Now I have no intention of marrying him, but I rather entertain him so I can keep him around a little bit longer to pay my bills. After ring shopping, I met up with my future bridesmaids and went to the wedding dress selection. We decided we were going to try on three dresses and sent him options, so let me know which one you guys like best. Option one is an off-the-shoulder chic vibe with a mermaid bottom. Option number two is a little bit longer of a drape and it is a long sleeve gown. Super comfortable, definitely making me feel like the princess that I am. Here I am getting fitted for option number three. Now this is the full queen look. I mean, if it's my wedding day, I kind of want to be as extra as possible. I'm going to send these three options to the sugar daddy, but let me know which one is your favorite. much back and forth, I decided I am going to go through with the wedding to the sugar daddy. This morning, I had to stop at my talent manager's office quickly for a meeting, discussed a few of my future projects and how the wedding is going to be documented. Then I met up with my wedding planner, Sydney. Sydney is a big wedding planner here in LA and she means serious business. After our coffee date, we made sure to check out some stores. We want to get our registry together, the bridesmaid boxes together, some sage. I'm really fortunate to have Sydney to go through this process with me. After that, I drove the car my sugar daddy gave me to my friend Orcadia's house. Orcadia is a celebrity cake baker. She baked me a sample cake for my actual wedding and I'm trying it to make sure I like it. Chocolate is my favorite flavor and the cake was amazing. Sugar daddy reveal video and wedding when I hit 100k. And it really happened perfectly where I was leading up to hitting my 100k on TikTok. I wanted to create an iconic video to celebrate 100,000 followers. I wanted to give my followers something to look forward to at 100K, and I also wanted to get to 100K. And the only way to get to 100K is to like, do something interesting out of the box and something crazy. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I'm, I'm like excited, I don't know. Where are the bridesmaids? So because of COVID and everything, like I had bridesmaids, I did like a bachelorette party kind of vibe, but because of COVID, we're keeping the wedding really small. So it's just gonna be me and the sugar daddy and my sister, Emily, and maybe a couple other people. It's gonna be really small. So um, it's kind of more like an eloping vibe, but we'll have the party, I feel like in a few weeks, um, depending on if we, like a bigger reception moment. Yeah, like a reception moment. Um, but I kind of just want to do the damn thing. How are you doing your makeup? I'm kind of just like doing whatever. How do you know he's the one? My sugar daddy? Yes. I mean, I don't. I think that's like the whole thing about this wedding is like I don't know that he's the one. Um, it's crazy because like I started dating the sugar daddy um, because I needed help, like paying rent, I needed help with my bills. Um, in my 20s, I'm in LA, so I just kind of started dating him, and I didn't expect everything to go this fast, but he basically said that he... We've been dating for like a few months, this has all been playing out on TikTok, and he basically said that he wanted to marry me. And at first I was like entertaining him, I was trying on wedding dresses, and then I just like decided I might as well just go through with it. So are you moving into his house? Not yet. I'm not gonna move in with him. That is where I draw the line. Um, I'm not moving in with him yet, but he said I can stay at his house whenever I want, but um, yeah, I'm not moving in with him yet. That's not the plan. Um, I don't even know like what we're gonna do after we get married. We're kind of just like doing What about the, the honeymoon? Thing. Where's the honeymoon? We haven't even decided all of that yet. Like one step at a time. I don't even know how long we're gonna last. Like, 
Is that bad to say? Where is Sugar Daddy right now? He is getting ready. I think he's in Malibu. He's getting ready. I'm not, I haven't talked to him today. Our wedding planner is handling like all So that. it's like a big reveal. He can't know anything about. He, like, he can't know what I'm wearing. <laughs> like he can't know anything. You'll see the Sugar Daddy at the end of the video, guys. Um, but I need to finish getting ready, so um, excuse me. <laughs> Ready for your necklace? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Is this really tight? Mm -mm. I can't get it on that. I'm gonna just see if I get from right now. So leading up to the wedding, I had a bunch of other TikTok creators as well as some family and friends who were involved in the process send me in congratulatory videos saying congratulations on your wedding just to kind of add to the hype of the wedding and kind of just make it more iconic. It's on your wedding, Zach. When I saw his wallet, I knew he was the one for you. Congratulations on your wedding! I can't believe you're getting married! Congratulations to you and your sugar daddy on your wedding day. I'm wishing you guys many years together and lots of things in you. Today's the day. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. I'm so happy for you guys. Hi everybody. I want to wish my son Zachary congratulations on his wedding. Hey Zach, it's Sam, your maid of honor. And I'm so excited and happy for you. I can't wait for the party. Hey Zach. Congratulations on your wedding to your sugar daddy. I'm so excited for you. From your bridesmaid, Rivette, I love you so much and I can't wait to celebrate. Mwah. Congratulations on your wedding. You've won. Zachary, congratulations on your wedding. I wish you all the best. This is so funny. I can't even. Oh my god. Waking up on my wedding morning was, it really felt like the real deal. I truly felt so many nerves and I had so much to do. I was so stressed. I was obviously a bridezilla. The thing is, I had to get a dress, I had to get flowers, a camera, I had to get someone to film me, a location, I had to find a man. I had to literally get everything done in one day, and of course I waited until the last minute. I literally figured all of this out Saturday morning, but it all happened the way it was supposed to. And the reason why there ended up being no guy is because I actually couldn't find one. I literally tried to like find a guy like I looked on Grinder, I DM'd a couple of guys, I tried to find someone who was around to do this fake wedding with me and it just like so happens that like I could not, that was like the one thing I could not find. That's kind of why the story played out the way it did but I think it played out the way it was supposed to. So the dress. Obviously I wasn't gonna buy a real wedding dress, those things are so expensive and I texted a few of my friends, a few of my neighbors to see if anyone had like a long white dress that I could use as a wedding dress and like nobody had one. So I started going through my closet seeing what I had and I found this white shower curtain that I used to use before I got a new shower curtain. I probably haven't touched it in like eight months. It's just been in my closet. And basically I just used the shower curtain and tied around some white um, rope and created my own wedding dress. And it was genius, okay? So I went to Emily's house with all of my makeup with the shower curtain and we created this fake wedding dress. Um, Emily had some jewelry she put on me and we did our makeup. Emily was a saint filming everything on the camera of the behind the scenes footage of the wedding because I really did want to show you guys more in detail of what happened on that actual wedding day and how everything transpired. But I'm glad that we were able to film a lot of this. Um. Yeah, I think you should like walk. You should like walk towards the camera. They're not dressed in wedding attire either. So that's kind of how the wedding dress happened. And these pictures turned out so good. Um, my neighbor Tony also had this sick umbrella, which like fit perfectly. And the aesthetic was just on point. It really looks like a real wedding dress. I mean, it was like a curtain, it wasn't a sheet. So I'm really happy with how the wedding dress 
turned out. The cake. So my friend Arcadia, she bakes cake. She bakes cake every single week. She's been baking cakes for the past few months on her Instagram story and she's been giving away free cakes. I told her that I was getting married and that I needed her to make me a cake. So Arcadia baked me a cake. I ended up going to her house on Wednesday night, on Wednesday, like leading up to the Saturday wedding. Since the sugar daddy didn't end up showing up to the wedding, um, I kind of thought of the awesome idea when we were at Lake Hollywood Park to just like be the runaway bride, obviously, but then like eat the cake like so dramatically and then throw it over the edge. Mm -hmm. So basically, my sugar daddy stood me up at the altar. So I bashed the cake that he paid $500 for and threw it off of the cliff at the Hollywood Hills. And that was my wedding. Well, at least I hit 100K on TikTok, right? That was the whole idea of this. Thanks for watching. Bye. So now that I, to answer some of your questions, where do we go from here with the sugar daddy? He didn't show up to the wedding. Have you talked to him? Now, obviously we all kind of know that this is satire at this point. I hope you know that. Um, there truly is no sugar daddy. There's nobody paying my rent to answer your questions. There is no real sugar daddy that is sending me on vacation or getting me a new car. Like there truly is none of that. I'm gonna tell you guys like, everything on YouTube because you guys took the time, you came to my YouTube channel, you subscribed to my channel. So I want to tell you guys like the actual truth because I am going to keep this fantasy up on TikTok to kind of just continue the story because there is a lot of people that still don't know that it is um, satire. Like people are even pissed about it. So basically where I go with the sugar daddy moving forward is that he, I'm upset with him for not showing up. He's either going to try and make it up to me and send me to the spa and send me on vacation and send me all these nice places or I will um, go to the courthouse and like pretend I'm getting a divorce or pretend we got married. I'm not really sure where the Sugar Daddy series is gonna go. You guys are just gonna have to follow me on TikTok and watch that to kind of get a better idea on where this is all going to go. Going and going and going, it never ends until I find an actual Sugar Daddy. It's like, I'm honestly almost manifesting this in a weird way. One girl ended up making a TikTok of me today, um, she basically was saying that she was so invested in the wedding, she thought it was real, and that she was so disappointed that she that I lied to my followers. My intention was to never lie to my followers, mislead anybody, or upset anybody um, by creating these videos. And it was never even for followers. I mean, I never wanted to lie to anybody at all. It was never wanted to hurt anybody in the midst of this, or, you know, make anybody upset or feel that I misled them or lied to them. I always wanna be as authentic as possible and that's why I'm coming on my YouTube channel telling you guys the full story, telling you the real tea so that you guys can know that I am a real person, I am authentic and I wanna keep it 100 with you guys but on TikTok there is this series that I just enjoy creating this fantasy satire life and I understand because I'm so dry and sarcastic it's hard to tell what's real and what's fake. I am living these experiences. I went on that vacation. I went to the DMV. Like, part of this is real. I have gone on dates with older guys. I've had guys take me to dinner. Like, part of this is real. But is there an actual sugar daddy? No. I understand this saga. I mean, it's just been so much fun. And like, it truly was the best way I could possibly think of to ring in 100K on TikTok. And you guys don't even know what's next. When I hit 200K on TikTok, are we gonna have a second wedding? No. There will be more weddings. Like this is only, this is not my last wedding, trust me. So I mean like, this was truly the sugar daddy scandal. We are going to put a close in this chapter, kind of, because I am gonna still play it out, but I hope that we're, we're gonna put a close on a lot of the confusion. Honestly, like being dramatic is just so much fun. Like life is not that serious. Creating content is all about having fun, being yourself, and just being as extra as possible. And that is the point. That is why we create content. So I really hope that everyone enjoyed the wedding, everything leading up to the wedding. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are getting really close to a thousand subscribers, which is my next goal on YouTube. I am Zachary Reality. Make sure you guys are followed me. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I have my podcast every single Thursday new YouTube videos every single Tuesday, sometimes I miss a week, and daily TikToks in regards to reality TV and sugar daddy videos. Yes, I think that is a wrap. Huh. That's a wrap. It's 
stuff there. It's actually fucking insane. 